Hi, I'm David Oliver, London's contributing editor for Veranda magazine. This month I was in Tangier, Morocco, photographing Umberto Pasti's beautiful garden. The garden itself is a magical labyrinth of narrow paths, alleyways and walled enclosures. Clumps of eucalyptus, palm and bitter orange trees provide peaceful shade from the burning rays of the Moroccan sun. Lush vegetation, fountains and frog song are the only signs of life in this world of pure tranquility. I think every place has a soul, and gardening is about understanding this soul. And for, for understanding this, you have to be very careful, very humble, and you have to love a lot the place where you are. And when people ask me, what's gardening about? It's about loving, because if you don't love, you can't garden. And the wonderful thing is, in every corner of the world, a garden should be different. And I think it's very, very sad that fashion gets to determine the choice of living things. And I don't believe in aesthetics much. I believe very much in a design who creates by himself. A garden should always look as if it was done by itself, not but done by a man, not, not done as, as if it was even the most formal garden looks wonderful when it looks natural. When I make a garden for myself, I allowed myself, it's the only time in my life in which I allowed myself to become entirely a child. I don't hide anything, I don't want to prove anything, I just want to enjoy myself as much as possible. So when I, when I, when I do that thing for friends or clients, I have to consider their needs and their exigences, but in my case, I just allowed myself to the more possible joy and the more possible invention. I love frogs, so I always want to have frogs around. I love animals, and so all animals are welcome into my gardens. And I don't, I don't have a lot of aesthetical um, prejudices. It's just love, fun, enjoying myself, and then deciding from time to time, I say, oh no, this should be a little more structured because so I can see the other thing. But it's always done with the left, left hand. The right hand is always about having pleasure, enjoying, having fun, having fun with my gardeners, having fun with the kids who make garden furniture from my village, uh, having fun, enjoying ourselves. This is the main key when I garden for myself. When I go around the garden, I have two, two ways of going around. One way is the contemplative way, and this is when I am in a good mood, I am thinking, I'm thinking about my next book, or, and I go around just looking at pretty things and stopping in corners that I know are, are warm when I need warm, the shadow when I, when I want shadow, and so on. And then I have the garden way of going around, which is like a doctor running into an hospital saying, I want to check this sick person, how she's doing. That one has been operated two days ago, let's see if she's all right. Uh, these, those poor children are too small and they need lots of water. So this is like the Gardner way, which is just running from problem to problem to problem to problem to problem, coming back exhausted, having a nap, and then waking up and saying, okay, now let's go out in the garden and look how pretty it is and having a completely different way of going around and looking at things.